a wax on, a wax off. Today on Tony's Reviews, I'm going to be showing you something I've been wanting to check out for quite a while. This is Rust-Oleum's Wipe New. I think this is an As Seen on TV product. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, folks, this Rust-Oleum Wipe New, uh, I've read some of the instructions on the back of this, and it's, it makes the claim that you'll be able to clean your headlight off, uh, let it dry, and then you'll be able to use this product and wipe it on there, and it's supposed to make your headlights look like they're new, or newer, I guess. So anyway, we're going to check this out today. I know a lot of you have probably seen similar products, or maybe even this product, or maybe you've tried it out yourself. I'm going to be trying it out today and just let anybody that hasn't tried this out yet, just let them see how this thing actually works on my car, on the headlights on my car. So I'm not going to talk about this a whole lot because I don't think there's much to talk about. I'm just going to open this up real quick, then we're going to take it out in my garage or take it outside and we're going to wipe down those headlights, clean those headlights, and we're going to wipe them down with this stuff and we're going to see if it actually gets rid of the film on there. There's the Rust-Oleum Wipe New right there. It's a packet. So we've got one packet of that. And then right here, it looks like we've got something that's like a chamois. I will read the detailed instructions on this just so that I'm using this completely the right way. But I, it's, it's got some kind of a chamois in here and some rubber gloves for you to use so that you can, you know, uh, not have to touch this stuff. I'm going to read the instructions. I'm not going to put you through that. Just go wait in the car. I'll be out there in just a minute. All right. So now we're approaching the car. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. Those lenses look absolutely horrendous. Look how awful that looks. And this one over here is not much better. It says you're supposed to wipe these down with a wet cloth and see if they go clear. If they do, then it says all you'll have to do is just use the chemical from my understanding of the instructions. But like most stuff, when you read the packaging, it's a little too good to be true in my opinion. So I'm very disappointed already because I thought no matter what, I would just be able to come out here and just clean these off and then just wipe them down with this uh, wipe new chemical, but no, 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 no. Uh, you have to wipe them down, and if they still have a haze, which these do, then you have to sand them down with this little doodad right here. You're supposed to wet this down, sand it down with this, and then you're supposed to wet it down again and then sand it the rest of the way with this. This is, I guess, is a little finer. So we're gonna do that. Here we go. Something I just noticed on here is a big statement. It says right here, lens clarity guaranteed. That's a pretty big statement right there. All right, I got the headlight wet, and we're gonna use the green side first. It says wet sanding, what they call this. It said that this stuff, this hazy stuff on here, will turn a uh, shade of brown, so there will be a, possibly a brownish color. So to make sure that this head, headlight cover stays uh, wet, so we'll we'll do that. We'll wet it again here. This rag is soaking wet. You see this gunk that's forming right here, and I think this is just stuff that's uh, it's the stuff that's built up here on this lens. So I'll wipe it down again, and it looks like it's starting to clear up a bit. So this uh, this wet sanding seems to be seems to be bringing. Uh, bringing this whatever, it's bringing it down. So it's a little smoother, it's not so gritty feeling now. A wax on, a wax off. Scrub the heck out of this. I've worked on this for a while now, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the gray side. I, what I was using was the green side, now I'm gonna use the gray side because I just don't think I'm getting any further maybe. I, I, anyway, I'm just, my arm's just tired. So anyway, here we go, we're gonna go with the gray now. All right, now for the gray side, continuing to keep this wet so that it uh, doesn't go dry while I'm doing the sanding. So now it's time for the gray side. And the instructions it says to dry this with this microfiber towel. It says after you do that, if you still see the oxidation, you're supposed to uh, repeat the steps of, you know, sanding this down. But I can tell you this, if oxidation does continue to appear, I'm not going to continue those steps because my arm feels like it's about ready to fall off and um, I, I'm seeing more oxidation than I was before I even started. So to me, it doesn't make any sense to continue to uh, sand this down. You know, my arm's really sore. I went over this thing a bunch of times and there's still a ton of oxidization on here. Oxidization. So you can see that. And to me, in real life, I can see this on the camera right now. And in real life, this looks really milky. I mean, this looks awful right now. 
So, okay, I've worked on this for a while. Dried it off the microfiber towel. That's as good as I'm gonna get this thing. It's even worse hazy than it was when I started. There's more haze than there was when I started. Okay, this one's done too. I'm gonna dry it off with a microfiber towel. Like I said, I've sanded the heck out of this thing. I've wet sanded it and it's actually just gotten a little worse. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the wipe new and see if it helps to clear these up. You can see here, this is the wipe new package. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this and get this one right here treated. And boy, this stuff has an aroma to it. I, even outside, it's got a pretty good stink to it. Okay, I've got this one thoroughly coated with this stuff, and it does look better right off the st right from the start. All right, I'm gonna run down here to the other one and treat it real quick, and see how hazy that one looks. Let's go ahead and treat it and see if it changes the appearance. And it does, as I'm putting it on, it looks really good. I'm surprised. Hopefully this stays like this after it dries. So I'm eating crow big time. These are dry now and you can see that uh, they look much better. Uh, whenever I was doing the sanding portion of this, they looked absolutely horrible. I had to remember though, if you look at the box, you can see whenever they're treating these right down there in that picture, uh, you can see that they're all fuzzy too. So yeah, uh, they turned out really good. I'm very pleased. You can see those right there, very clear. They look really nice and I'm very happy. Let's go look at the other one. Same thing over here. This one turned out pretty clear compared to what it was. You know, these are pretty old. This is uh, like a 2012. So you can see that these have cleared up quite a bit. You know, what more can you ask or how much can you expect? But uh, they did turn out a lot clearer than what I thought they were. And I'm very pleased with this wipe new product. So checked it out here on Tony's Reviews today and it turned out to be a pretty big winner. At first I was a little scared. I didn't think it was gonna work out too well, but it worked out pretty good in the end. And folks, if you want to check out some of this wipe new, there will be an Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video and also one of the comments. If you enjoyed this video today, please hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to help support my channel, please hit the thank you button. If you know anybody that might need to use some of this wipe new, please share this video out. If you'd like to see some more of my product reviews, please hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Tony's Reviews today, and God bless you.